This is the top 5 things that you can do with a Flipper Zero without any configuration or special skills. Number 1. You can capture the car key fob signals. For example, you can capture a car's unlock signal and then replay it to unlock a car. The only problem with this is that because most cars have rolling signals, meaning that each time you unlock the car, the key fob sends a slightly different signal, the signal captured with the Flipper Zero only works once. Another interesting thing that you can do with a Flipper Zero is use it as a USB rubber ducky. This is running one of the demo scripts that are on a Flipper Zero when you get one. This is probably the easiest thing that you can do with a Flipper Zero. It has a built-in universal infrared remote for TVs, projectors and air conditioning units. So you can turn on and off any TV turn the volume up or down, change the channel. You can also record custom buttons. Another interesting and useful thing that you can do with a Flipper Zero is to use it to authenticate yourself using the universal second factor U2F. I've used this from a Binance account and it works flawlessly. And lastly, you can also use a Flipper Zero to read and save credit and debit cards. Here I have the Stripe BBPOS WisePos E terminal and I am trying to take payment using the Flipper Zero with a card that I have saved. However, I've got an error saying multiple cards detected. I think this is because the Flipper Zero sends the signal repeatedly. Overall, there are so many things that you can do with the Flipper Zero that I could probably make multiple videos about this. After having it for a couple of weeks, I can honestly say that it is a really cool device and it makes learning new things fun and exciting. I also see how could someone could use it for bad, however I am just playing around with it because I find it interesting. So like and subscribe if you liked the video and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next one.